Have you guys ever had buffalo chicken wings? I mean, crazy question, right? I know you have, we all have. They're so yummy. Today, I'm making buffalo chicken pizza. You're gonna go crazy for it because, well, it's crazy worthy. The toppings are your classic accompaniments to buffalo chicken wings, celery, and blue cheese, and I added a little bit of shredded carrot just for, well, health reasons. <laughs> Make it a little bit healthy. So I'm getting my toppings ready. Thinly sliced celery to stand in for the celery sticks that you usually get. But first, I wanna get my pizza dough all ready. This is a pound of pizza dough. You can use frozen. I do it all the time, I'm not gonna lie. But we also have a great recipe for pizza dough on our website, and I've done a video too. It's a great, quick pizza dough that you can make. And if you wanna make some when you have some free time and then put it in the freezer, then you have your own pizza dough that's frozen. And you don't have to buy it. Stretch it out about 11 by 15. This pan is 17 and a half by 12 and a half, so I'm gonna make it fill almost the whole pan. Sometimes if you're working with dough, it gets really, really springy. You can just set it aside, cover it with a towel, and then it'll be less springy. The springiness comes from developed gluten, from like kneading and stuff like that. So if you just give it time to sit back and relax, it makes it so much easier to stretch into the shape you want. Set it aside for just a second while you make your sauce. Classic buffalo wing sauce is a combination of melted butter and a hot sauce that's a mild cayenne pepper sauce like a Frank's, so that's what I'm using here. Two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of Frank's hot sauce. Save two tablespoons for later. Stir together. And then you brush that over the pizza, but leave a little bit of an edge. You just want to put it on the part where it's going to be covered with the chicken because, of course, there's no chicken wings without chicken, so be generous. This is what gives it that classic flavor. Without this, there's no flavor and, well, it's just chicken pizza. Okay, this is what I have here. Three quarters of a pound of frozen breaded chicken cutlets and you cut them up into one inch pieces. It's a pretty nice convenience product. I try to get the kind that's healthy. You go to Whole Foods or you know buy a brand that doesn't have a lot of stuff in it and that's just pure chicken breast. It's a nice convenience item to have. Though, similarly to the pizza dough, you can make your own and freeze them, but we'll get into that another day. Have your oven preheating to 500 degrees and then you wanna get this pizza just like this into the oven for about, I would say like 14 to 18 minutes. You want the crust to be almost completely done and the chicken to be cooked. So after about 18 minutes, it looks like this. Kind of sad looking, but you're gonna make it better by sprinkling with half a cup of grated Monterey Jack cheese. Always being a little bit on the safe side when it comes to cheese, and people feel like they're not eating tons and tons of cheese if they wanna be a little bit healthier, but don't tell anybody, but I'm adding like a whole other half a cup. Drizzle with the remaining two tablespoons of hot sauce, and then it goes back into the oven until the cheese is melted. You don't want to overcook your cheese, which is why I didn't put this on at the beginning. I'm getting excited, can you tell? Cheese is melted, finish it off with a quarter cup of blue cheese. This stands in for the blue cheese dressing that you usually have on the side. I'd say you could skip it, but then it wouldn't really be like buffalo wings, right? One small carrot, you can shred it on the box grater. We just cut this up in julienne. And then your celery. You don't want to cook this on, so it's sort of like finishing a pizza with salad. And it adds a nice fresh crunch at the end too. I like to use scissors to cut my pizza. I think it's easier, but if you have a pizza cutter and you like that, then use that. Let it sit just so it's not gonna completely burn your mouth when you bite into it, and then enjoy. I think you're gonna absolutely adore it. Mm. You're gonna adore it because I adore it, and you adore everything I love, right?